Hello and welcome back to Let's Go. And in today's episode, we have something very special for you. It's been a while since uh, I've ordered this and it's finally here. I've actually had it a couple of weeks now and um, it's, I've just not had a chance to put it in. I'm so busy doing other things. Some of you already probably guessed what it is. It is our 48 volt battery upgrade from my max mods and it also comes with the voltmeter and there's two usb slots in there to charge something whilst we're out there so very handy to have now i've already opened the box and it's meant to be a really simple install i've not actually looked at the video i've had a brief look at the video just not had time to i wanted to take this fresh and see if it was self-explanatory for a lot of people out there in the box all you get is this package here and your charging cable there so this one has come from the USA so it comes with the USA two prong so if you are in the UK or a European country you will have to buy another plug that doesn't fit a US socket I've already pre-charged this, as it says in, in the instructions, to pre-charge it before you install it. So you can charge it in like that. Don't leave it on because it does register on there. The case itself, pretty standard of these sort of cases. I've never bought one to add to my scooter. Uh, I keep meaning to, but if I'm gonna add this to it anyway, you know, I've got tiny little bit of storage in there as long as I don't put metal things in there because I don't want it to puncture the battery. So let's take a look inside. So open it up. We've got a fair few wires so just be careful when you're in here. So let me just show you there. And then what we're going to do is uh, this, there's this cable here. Uh, I believe that's the extension cable that goes from within inside the scooter somewhere around here and we also have this bit i believe this attaches to the battery so we're going to just pop that aside what else do we have in here okay so we've got the battery itself fully branded and it, it looks feels like it is attached and that's the main cable that comes from the battery we then have this bit here which should just attach the voltmeter just there that's perfect and from what I understand, there's a safety mechanism in here as well. So if you don't want to run it as a 48 volt system, you can simply cap off the end here. I've actually already taken off the bottom casing here. You've seen it in plenty of my other videos. It's nice and easy. Around 18 Torx head screws pull it out and as you can see from this one it is fairly damaged fairly grimy and on the corners here you can see it's starting to crack so I don't want any water ingress getting in there and I want a fresh you know a, a fresh new one to go on so I've gone ahead and bought myself a new one this one already came pre-lined you can buy them separately with just the plastic cover and that separately and then place that yourself and it's a little bit cheaper it's just easier to buy the whole thing to go alongside this as well what i have done is bought myself some extra screws these seem a bit longer but i've tested test fit them and they seem to go in there no problem these are the old ones as you can probably see there they are grimy and the where i've taken the cover off so many times and put it back on i've you know threaded the head on a lot of them so i've had to swap them out and yeah i want to get it back to a as new state as possible so i don't have to then do any maintenance down the road so let's get this installed okay so as i've mentioned before i've got the cover off automatically um just so that we've got it ready to go down here we've got the main wire for the battery and all we're going to do is simply take off the tape and then pull apart the xt60 connector i believe it is that's the xt60 connector pull those apart on the main loom that you've got here we're going to go ahead and take apart this one here 
as you can see, he's written extender on there, and then these two match up with this, from what I understand. So that should be nice and easy. Make sure black and black, and you can't do it that way because that one's a male, and then male should go into the female. The same again, make sure that's on there. And then once we're done, that should all just fit in there like that, just tuck it away. But first of all, let's get the main cable through the, uh, through the center there. Okay, just before we go ahead and um, install the main cable that's gonna run up through into the actual battery itself. So I've already gone ahead and pre-taken off the rubber bung that's up there. I'll show you that in just a moment. We do have to take out a little, uh, it's like a foam pad there. And the best way I've found to do that is to actually get a nice long thin one of these. Just be very careful that we don't end up damaging any wires trying to get in there. So I'm gonna go for a thinner one. There we go. We've got the foam part out. I'm gonna inspect here, make sure there's no damage. Perfect, seems okay. Is actually try and thread the new cable straight alongside there without damaging it. So we're gonna take the male end and see if we can pop that in. This might seem a bit tricky, so actually, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I want to be as careful as I can because I don't want to be fraying anything. Okay, so to get this to work, I'm just gonna take out the RGB for the time being, and hopefully I can get the, uh, the cables down there. There we go, so that's allowed me to get that down. Right, so what we are going to try and do is wrap some cable ties around it and hopefully feed that through. Might need to get it longer just in case. There's some foam caught in here. It's becoming a bit of a, uh, a bit of a pain. There we go, so we can start seeing this come through. Hopefully that cable tie doesn't hinder me getting that in there. There we go. So that's what we're trying to pull out. And I can now feed this through. And I think that's probably going to be enough for now. Uh, the big downside to this now though is I'm probably not going to be able to run RGB. So they're probably going to have to be removed. Which is not a problem because I don't really run it anyway. Just because I like the foam bits in there, just added protection, I'm gonna pop that back in there for the time being. Now we've got the wire in, we can uh, connect those up together. They're not live yet because I haven't connected the other end. And we're gonna tidy that up, get that inside. Like so, that should be protected enough. Make sure the wire isn't crimped in any way, like really badly. That's all in there. Perfect. Right, so let's get the battery installed onto the top there. Okay, so now the plan is to get the battery mounted here just like everybody else. And there is a few straps that we're gonna play with. So we're just gonna untangle that one and that one. They simply go around the back of here, I think. So let's like that. Get that through. Put it tight, and then we get the second one around here. And pull that one tight. Right, and these ones, I'm actually not too sure where they go, but um, let's figure this out, shall we? So I'm just gonna wrap it around here, I think. And that should uh, keep everything pretty tight. And we'll go around the other way. And now we're just gonna go inside and connect the wires up, so. That one will go in there like that. We're at 12.4 volts. Show you on there. And turn it on there, see? And it, all we had to do was connect those wires. And now what we're gonna do is connect this wire here 
to the main wire here. But before we do that, let's put the uh, safety one on there. So safety wire on. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the scooter on. You can see it's all running. Okay, so now the battery's on. The cable is through. I'm gonna tuck a lot of that away in there. I'm gonna take it out for a spin, but first I'm gonna close this up. Don't forget to use a little bit of thread locker around here on the bolts, or on the screw, sorry, uh, for when you actually put it back together, just to stop a little bit more water ingress and just to keep it on nice and tight. Uh, if you're not planning on bringing this, opening this up too much, don't worry. Um, the only issue I did find is that this is quite, you know, tight in here now. Uh, I'm probably going to have to remove the RGB and yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. But I don't want these cables flopping about, so I'm probably going to remove the RGB for the time being. I don't, really don't want to make this hole any bigger and I actually just want to... Uh, get more speed out of it. I was probably gonna use that more than the RGB. There we go. So once it's all linked up, the bag sits nicely here. You've got the cable that comes in and it does sit just inside there. Um, you could probably get that to come a bit lower just to stop the water coming in. And if we go in there, at the moment, I've got it currently set to the standard speed, which is around 19 miles an hour or 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, and then I will test it to see the speed on there. Um, as for the software, you can, once uh, you've bought the kit, you actually get emailed out the, the software link for my Max Mods bespoke software that goes alongside this kit. Uh, you can actually upload that as a file directly via the Scooter Hacking website or you can do it through the Scooter Companion app on the iPhone or the, uh, the hack, hacking, scooter, scooter Hacking app on Android. Uh, I don't have an Android so I don't use that one. And I know that the uh, Scooter Companion app is still struggling, but it's exactly like flashing the firmware on your scooter as I've shown you before, so I'll, I'll drop links to those. And um, yeah, so I will have a little test of those and it'll be a little while before I actually get a full video out. Hopefully we can get range testing on these as well, because apparently it gives you a little bit more range. And um, yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. But I'm really excited now. I can go a little bit faster than I used to be able to. My only little disappointment at the moment is getting the RGB installed. So I need to figure out how to do that without destroying wires and things. That'll be another project later. Um, I've just taped them off for the minute to stop dirt and debris getting inside and also water. Um, but yeah, they're not they're not going to get in the way. Um, I can I can you know tie those up. So that's not a problem. Well, there we go. Another mod added to the Max. And this time it's the uh, one that we've all been waiting for. In terms of difficulty, not so difficult. The only pain in the bum was actually getting it through and threading it through this bit properly uh, and situated in there. But actually, you know, hooking it all up, super simple. I didn't even look at the video. Uh, I saw a quick video ages and ages and ages ago. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen it since, as I say, I've been quite busy. Um, there is testing to be done, I've just taken it out for a quick spin, 19 miles an hour or 30 kilometers with the regular battery uh, under there, and then adding that on, I did 21 going on a slight incline, and then uh, it was 24 going down the slight incline. But more testing is required. Might need to recharge the batteries just to get a full charge. Have a, make sure the software is installed correctly. As I say, the software is really easy to install. I've done videos on installing software down, you know, in my videos. So if you do want to, uh, you know, install the software, you do need to purchase this. Um, I'm not going to give away his firmware. You've got to purchase the the kit and then. It will email that out to you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. We've been waiting for this, and 
Let me know what you want me to add to the scooter next. I do have a brake kit for the rear that I've got pieced together. It's taken me about you know three or four months to get the pieces to fit on that and to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to try and see if that fits. Um, but yeah, so now I've got more speed, more stopping power could be required, so we shall see. And uh, hopefully Shark Set will bring out their rear suspensions very soon. I know we're all waiting very, very patiently, but yeah, we want to make sure it's right. This one is getting a bit, I don't know, it, you know, it's not as nice as what I'd like it to be, so hopefully Shark Set will release one very soon. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out quite a lot. And the only reason why I can make these videos is subscribers like yourself, at, you know, watching my videos and helping there. So we'll see you in the next one.